The theory behind singlet oxygen. To explain the red glow when singlet oxygen is prepared, the molecular orbital theory and short MO theory is used. Both of the anti-bonding pi electrons have the same spin, which leads to this being the triplet state. Due to the Pauli exclusion principle, the electrons with same spin are distributed in two orbitals and not put in the same. This is the ground state of oxygen, it's also called triplet oxygen. When the spin of the electrons is opposite, this is the singlet state, which has a higher energy than the ground state and is highly reactive. There is another singlet state in which the electrons are in the same antibonding pi orbital. This state has less energy than the last one. When oxygen falls back from the singlet state with higher energy into the ground state, around 158 kJ per mole of energy are released in the form of light, which has a wavelength of 759.6 nanometers and is in the visible range. When the singlet state with less energy falls back, 97 kJ per mole are released in the form of light, which has a wavelength of 1263 nanometers and is in the far infrared range, so it's not visible to the naked eye. Nevertheless, there is another transition of this exact state into the ground state. Electrons are exchanged between two singlet oxygen molecules without a change of spin, causing both molecules to be in the ground state afterwards. In this, 190 kJ per mole are released in the form of light with a wavelength of 633 nm, which is again in the visible range. This is called a deactivation reaction. So in the end, the visible light emitted in the preparation of singlet oxygen comes from the deactivation reaction and the transition from one of the singlet states into the ground state. This was the theory behind singlet oxygen. I hope you enjoyed. Please rate and comment. If you want to see more about the preparation of singlet oxygen, you can watch my video here. Or you can watch another video about liquid oxygen here. A big thanks to my supporters on Patreon.